Now, Eagle Eye viewers out there might have realised I've stopped doing WTF moments for the kickoff shows because ultimately, who gives a flying fuck if Kayla Braxton says the wrong thing once or twice in the space of an hour? But then last night I saw Ronald Mysterious, Donald Mysterious, hopping into a portal while Donald Mysterious was wearing the mask of Slapjack, which had been painted a different colour, and I was reconsidering all my life choices. So basically, yeah, if I should go back to doing WTF moments for the kickoff shows, let me know. But we're kicking off the actual WTF moments for the main card of Money in the Bank 2021 with a cultaholic sign because we always know it's a mahoose of WTF moment when anybody makes a sign in honour of this utter bollocks and takes it to a professional wrestling show. So of course a big thank you goes out to Emmanuel for spreading the good name of cultaholic throughout the WWE universe next time you go to a show, do what Emmanuel did. And second up, and I have got to say this is a huge WTF moment, potentially the biggest WTF moment or moments of the entire night that was Money in the Bank 2021. Peacock! Right? Peacock. Mr. Peacock. I'm speaking directly to you, Mr. Peacock. You see, Mr. Peacock, I need you to pull your wings directly out of your arsehole, bonny lad. Innocent, good-hearted professional wrestling fans are just trying to sit down on a Sunday evening, kick back with a bucket of chicken and watch the professional wrestling, and you will not let them by being rubbish. Stop being rubbish, Mr. Peacock, or I'll bite your beak off. Now, sources close to me have said that Mr. Peacock heard the tune. You can't see me. My time is now. But Mr. Peacock, you're not supposed to take that literally, man. We want to see the wrestling. If we're in America. Sorry, America. Well, then, I bet that... Oh, all over. Father is cursing his luck right about now, Bonnie lad, because you were lucky enough to be at the first WWE pay-per-view with fans back in attendance. He must have been well gel, as the kids say, maybe, I don't know. And if the sight of that sign there doesn't bring your father back to you, just did what Arthur Fleck did. But instead of doing it to Thomas Wayne inside the toilets, wait until Vince McMahon himself goes for a tinker, wanker. What aggressive pisses Vince McMahon must have. And do it to him instead, a new daddy! Guaranteed. Do, 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 smack down pat, smack down pat, what was the line that you just spat? So I need you to go back and watch Naomi's entrance from last night's pap view where you will hear smack down pat say the following words in this very order. We've been hearing the glow ever since... Then there was a long pause. I mean, pisses off. Alexa doesn't think so, but another pause. <laughs> That's a direct quote from Pat there. Now, first of all, Smackdown Pat, I am asking the question, is there any difference between hearing the glow and feeling the glow? Because for the last four years or something, I've been feeling it in my fingers and in my toes. And as for the rest of that little quote there from Smackdown Pat from last night's pay-per-view, I can only assume that Smackdown Pat has been on the Smackdown ganja. Now then, if there is one thing we know about Alexa Bliss is that she can hypnotise people, she can shoot fire from her person, she can do other things that most other human beings cannot do. And I was just looking at that field of professional wrestlers inside the professional wrestling ring, as the Scottish might say. And I was thinking to myself, Alexa, they're a bunch of sitting ducks, man pal, what are you waiting for? Why the hell were you not shooting them in the face with fire, hypnotising them all at the same time, and giving yourself the easiest money in the bank victory since this sick guy right here oh my god it's 2016 again defeated andrew hodgkinson in a predictions competition at money in the bank 2021 money in the bank chops coming later this week everybody <laughs> andrew but then we fast forward through that ladies money in the bank ladder matchup from last night's pap of you and finally the hypnosis it happened what took you so long alexa you could have done that at the start of the match and saved yourself a whole load of hassle here i am stood in front of you on the internet trying to apply logic to a lady, a human lady, who can shoot fire from herself and make other human beings hypnotise. I think that says more about me than it does anything else. But no, even the spooky bollocks should have a modicum of, you know, logic to it. Therefore, Alexa, I'm here to tell you, maybe it's time you should focus a bit more on your spooky bollocks. Do you get it? Because focus rhymes with focus. <laughs> 
Why the hell would they remind us of that? And why the hell would they tell people who weren't watching WWE last year that was actually a thing that happened? So during last night's pay-per-view, we saw evidence of the bowling and the basketball and the axe throwing. But what about the golf, the decathlon, the ninjas? One of which was Omos, by the way. It's definitely Omos. Who the hell else could that be? And finally, of course, the alligator that attacked them all inside of a bin that many people, including me, thought was a tentacle belonging to an alien. <laughs> Good times. WTF moments all around, people, I tell you. But if you're going to tell us about some of the bollocks, WWE, you might as well tell us about all of the bollocks. Get your juicy ball sack out for all to see, not just one ball. Get them both out, man. Thank you to Reddit user Air by Nature for doing the hard work here, but I'm going to take their work and steal it and put it in this list of WTF moments because it is one, it is one at that. But it turns out that AJ Styles' knee pad from last night's pay-per-view just says knee in Japanese. His knee pad, it says knee, but in Japanese. But then you take a step back and you remind yourself that AJ Styles is a guy who has his initials on his ribs and the birthdays of all of his kids. So I've just assumed right now that AJ Styles is very forgetful. He's a very forgetful, silly goose. But then you must ask yourself the question, can AJ Styles remember that what it says on his knee is knee in Japanese? How much Japanese can AJ Styles remember? Answers on a postcard, please. Now then, the pre-match promo package for Bobby Lashley versus Kofi Kingston it included a couple of lines that I think are WTF moments. The first of which came from Kofi Kingston when he said to Bobby Lashley, if you ask me, Bobby might be getting a little bit soft. And in repost to that, Bobby Lashley replies to Kofi Kingston, there is not a soft bone in my body. I'm going to take his little words and shove it down his throat. Hard? Bone? Shove? Throat? Wow! In the words of Vince McMahon, because it looks like Money in the Bank just became Spunky in the Wank. Those are some rated R words there from Bobby Lashley and Kofi Kingston, you pair of dirty buggers. And it's clear for all to see that Charlotte Flair really missed the fans inside the arena. So much so that she told them to suck it. Suck what? And then she walked around like a sassy little peacock telling all the fans to, you know, Swivel on one, do one, swivel on one. I mean, you sat there watching Charlotte Flair do that live on Papa View. Yes, the live director for last night's show cut away, but then they came back and she was walking around, woohoo, flipping off all kinds of birds inside the arena. And you ask yourself, what are the company going to do? Are they going to fire her? Are oh, they bollocks? Yes, it's a WTF moment, but yes, it's a WTF moment that I love. Charlotte Flair, abuse your power all that you can do, Bonnie Lass. All the best to you. But it would appear that Charlotte Flair is now indeed Generation X, man. Look, suck it, the fingers, she's even wearing green. And I've got to make a WTF moment out of Raw lead commentator Billy Bob, whatever the hell his name is, saying that Rhea Ripley is not used to being in that position right there. Which, by the way, just in case you're not looking at your screen right now, is Rhea Ripley being bent over and having her own arse handed to her by Charlotte Flair, just like she did at WrestleMania 36. We still haven't forgotten about that man, Billy Bob. It's still there. I wish I could leave the memories alone, but I can't. Now I tell you what, everybody, if Rhea Ripley landing on the top of her head from a top rope, I repeat, a top rope, natural selection, and then kicking out is not a WTF moment. I don't know what I'm doing here. Vince McMahon likes big sweaty men, and Vince McMahon likes big Big sweaty men. Vince McMahon likes big men slapping meat. And I'm sorry, everybody, but Kevin Owens doing a lie insult. I repeat, Kevin Owens doing a lie insult is like Jim Halpert opening a beetroot farm using somebody else's offense to his gain. It just felt dirty. It felt disgusting. I still remember 2016 slash 2017, Kevin. You're better than that. Trevor. 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 Trevor, what are you doing, Trevor? Trevor! 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 Trevor, you're such a silly boy. And let me tell you, dear viewer, I am both shocked and appalled that there is a living, breathing human being today who actually bought a Nobody's Bitch t-shirt. I just can't imagine buying said shirt. Then you know, because it's hot at the minute. My God, is it hot. I am sweating my tits off. I can't imagine buying that shirt, putting that shirt on, and then wearing that shirt around town with the muggles who don't watch professional wrestling. Just imagine being a muggle who does not watch professional wrestling. You're on the tram, you sit down, you look across, and there's a fully grown man wearing a shirt that reads, Nobody's Bitch. 
First of all, you're thinking, fantastic, look at him there in his nobody's bitch t-shirt. And then second of all, you're thinking, that man there is definitely, I repeat, definitely somebody's bitch. Mago, 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 mago. And yes, I know, dear viewer, WWE rewrite their own history more times than Drew Bastard McIntyre picks up a historical book and memorizes every single bastard word he reads and then regurgitates it on Monday Night Raw. Stop it, Drew. Stop it now. But Mago Cole claimed that Edge was the guy who came up with the concept that is money in the bank. And we all know that is all kinds of Pete Tong. We all know that Edge was the inaugural winner, but as for the concept, it's Chris Jericho. Yes, Chris Jericho walks around today saying, I invented this, I invented that, I invented the other. Whatever the other is. But one thing we do know is that way back in like 2005 or something like that, 2004, 2003, 1972, Chris Jericho came up with the money in the bank concept. Thank you, Christopher. Mago, 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 mago. So then we see Roman Reigns shouting some words and we hear Maggle Cole say, Roman Reigns shouting, who's the best, guys? He could well be the best because he is, or was, the big dog. You go back and look at what Roman Reigns' mouth is doing and it turns out he's saying, who's the bitch now, Edge? Who's the bitch now? So let's redo that one, shall we, Maggle Cole? Let's take who's the best now, guys, and turn it into it's bitch time, guys. I'm bitch tits, Maggle Cole. And to the people who chanted, you can't wrestle towards Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns got that child. <laughs> I can't even speak. It's that bloody silly. To the people who chanted, you can't wrestle towards our tribal chief, the head of all the tables, a large K9. I've got something to chant back at you. Hi, I'll show you. Roman's doubters are illegitimate. They do not have a birth certificate. Is this too far? I'm going to keep going. They're silly geese and there ain't no doubting it. I'm going to stop there because the last line is horrible if there's any football fans watching this video right now. But still, I disagree with your opinion about Roman Reigns' professional wrestling ability. So then we see that they're happening inside the professional wrestling ring and we hear Maggle Cole shout, CROSSFACE GUYS! And I'm thinking to myself, STF. You, Maggle. Do you get it? Because that's an STF. And shut the f- WE LOVE YOU, ROMAN! <laughs> I tell you, edgeheads, they are rowdy bastards, aren't they? Seth Rollins, after the men's Money in the Bank ladder match, he is seen on camera saying, no matter who is the universe, <laughs> I'm sad I lost. <laughs> Universal champion, I'm going to challenge them. Change, 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 he's saying. But this is also Seth Rollins from Money in the Bank 2021. I I know what's best for business. I'll kick Edge in the head because even though I've beaten Roman Reigns a few times over the past few years, I can't seem to see that Edge here in 2021 would be the easier match. The guy I beat all those years ago was not the tribal chief. Why the hell am I from London now? My old man's a dustman. No, the head of the table. I'm going to cut that short there because that was very annoying, but it was a silly sequence of events saying Rollins is the first in line, whoever is the Universal Champion, that he would help Roman Reigns become Universal Champion, even though he must know that Roman Reigns is the much harder match here in 2021. The Roman Reigns Rollins defeated all those years ago had no tables or tribes. And then wabba dabba slap my ass and call me Gertrude Do. That was one hell of a pop for the ages as Jonathan Cena, he came back for reasons. I couldn't believe it this morning. I was walking to work, minding my own business, and I got splattered right in the eye with what I can only presume is Maggle Cole's man juice. It came from Fort Worth, Texas. It flew over the Atlantic and it landed right in my eye in Newcastle upon Tyne at about 8 a.m. this morning, BST. That is how hard Maggle Cole came at the sight of John Cena. I have never heard Maggle Cole like that and I was aroused. But I tell you what, SmackDown, Pat, you are absolutely fantastic. We have Maggle Cole losing his sugar, his honey, his ice, and his tea at the sight of nothing, because Cena's not there, ha <laughs> ha. He goes there, Cena, and Pat says where? Pat knows. 
Pat gets it. I love you, Pat. But there's one question for people who like to follow storyline and canon in WWE, John Cena. How did you get out of the black void that Bray Wyatt put you in at the end of WrestleMania 36? Triple H, the cerebral assassin, the guy with the golden shovel, the guy who thinks more than the rest of professional wrestlers, he's still down there. We've not seen Triple H on main roster TV, I hope, and also think, since he was put in there by The Fiend and or Bray Wyatt, I've forgotten what that was, but it happened, didn't it? Yet large match Jonathan, he's out of there while Triple H is still very much in there. That black void where nobody... It's NXT, isn't it? It's NXT, I've worked it out. NXT is the black void. But I tell you what, Money in the Bank 2021 was absolutely sensational in my book, especially the second half of the night. My God, a Papa view for the ages. Thank you, WWE, and thank you, the fans. Thank you to the fans in Fort Worth, Texas, because you were loud. And that's all you can be, really. Uh, yeah, well done. Well done. Yes, the fans, they were good. That's what I was trying to say. I have been Ross Tweddle from Cultaholic Wrestling, and I was very good at predicting Money in the Bank 2021 because I beat that no good little Scrot Andrew in the predictions competition. Therefore, I should be doing that. Money in the Bank Chops, coming to the channel later this week. I cannot wait to see what Money in the Bank Chops actually are. If you know, let me know down there. And of course, please support Cultaholic in the best free way that you can. Like this video, comment something weird like, I love this video. Not with a quotation mark, not I love this video quotation marks colon Ross Tweddle, just I love this video. And if you want to as well, if you're feeling ever so slightly saucy, share this video as well. The more engagement, the more better things maybe happen. This YouTube algorithm is an absolute bollock. But I've been Ross, thank you for watching, I'll see you soon.